Uh, doing a transmission flush on this Kia Grand Carnival today, 2007. And uh, what you're supposed to do, because you've got the cooler system here, the transmission cooler, what you're supposed to do is take this bumper bar off because this, this center grill doesn't come separate. You take the whole bumper bar off, get access to there, disconnect both lines to that cooler, and uh, put them in a bucket, start the car, run it for under a minute to drain the system. What I'm going to try and do is the connection that's down there, I'll just clean the area up a little bit, and uh, I'm going to try and jump a hose onto there and uh, like disconnect that and then jump another hose onto there, find out which way the transmission flows and drain it from there and save having to take the whole bumper bar off. So what I've done is not like I just explained, but because I couldn't really get my hand down on that angle with the long nose pliers to undo that clip. But what I could do is get underneath this angle over here and remove it from, if I can get the camera onto it, from over here. So you can see which side, you've got two there. I'm doing it from this side here. And when I start the car, you'll see it pump out. I've got, so one line that I've got connected there, you saw that, that's coming out here and going into a bucket. And the other line, I've poked through, down the, down through there. If I can get me, no, it's a bit tricky to get your hand in places and so forth, but if you can see that there, I've got the other line poking through down to the bottom, straight to the bucket there. And I've just put a bit of clear hose on that, just so I can, I shouldn't have to control it that way. What I'll do is um, I'll take this clear, clear hose back out because it's a bit smaller. I don't want no restrictions. And uh, so when I start the car, we'll know which way the transmission fluid flows to when draining the car. And like the workshop manual says, for a minute or less. So as soon as the fluid stops flowing here, that's when you turn the car off. If you leave it more than a minute, turn the car off. Uh, even if it's not finished flowing. Yeah, that's what the manual says to do, so that's, we'll follow that. Going in the right direction. It's coming out both. Okay. So you can see it's coming out of both lines, not just one line. So we'll let that keep running another 30 seconds and then we'll turn off okay so it's doing that now kind of coughing getting air in the system there come to turn it off okay is there that's back on there now so you got the side that's closest to me there that's the side that I had off that's back on and uh, the fluid that came out uh, just for kicks and giggles, I might actually put that through a measuring cup and just measure how much came out. Uh, I did lose, you can see on the ground there, because the hose, that I, the clear hose that I put on wasn't exactly tight, so I've lost maybe a couple hundred mil. I just did a quick measurement using this here. So 5.1 litres transferred between the buckets. There's still a tiny bit in there, plus what's on the floor there, so... Probably about 5.3, 5.5 litres. Or, Just another step to do here. I almost forgot about. You've got to drop the sump plug as well. So it's 24 mil. I've already loosened it off. Because after you've drained the system the other way, you've also got to come back and drop this transmission bolt to drain anything else that's in there out. So there'll be a little bit more to add to the measurement. So we'll just let that drip out. The bolt's got a bit of yuck on it. I'll clean that up. And to put this bolt back in, it says to um, tighten it up to about 40, 50 Newton meters. It's a bit tricky to try and get any tools in there to measure that. So uh, pretty much how I put it back on is tight's tight. So I'll just let this finish dripping out and then put the bolt back in and we'll continue with putting fluid into the transmission. After I've added this fluid to the current fluid and we'll find out exactly how many litres came out. 
So another 1200 mil came out of the transmission. That brings it up to six and a half liters all up. So uh, again, I'll redo the measurements as I put new fluid in to let you know exactly how many liters of fluid went back in. I already know six and a half liters came out. So judging by six liters only, you add 50 mil of liquid intelligence stop leak seal expander. Uh, this is an additive that I'm adding. Uh, I trust this stuff 100%. Um, I've mentioned it before. I use this stuff on all the cars that I work on now. Uh, this is going to rejuvenate gaskets, seals and so forth. So if there's any transmission leaks, that's going to rejuvenate all the gaskets and everything to stop all those leaks. And you can see there's 300 mil that I've added there. This is the second litre I'm going to put in. So I'm going to top that up now with transmission fluid to bring that up to one litre. And we'll put that in. And uh, I'm going to keep going until I'm up to six litres. And then I'll run the car, go through the gears and everything and check the fluid level and just top up as I need it and work out exactly how much went back in. Okay, so this is the number six litre here going in. Just goes, feeds back in through the dipstick area there. Okay, so now six litres of transmission fluid's in. We'll start her up. I'm just gonna let that run for about 30 seconds. So the torque converter and everything fills back up. Okay. I'm just put my foot on the brake so I can cycle through these gears, so reverse. Drive. Okay, reverse again. I'll right, take her off the ramps now. Get her on a flat surface. I'll let the car warm up and uh, then we'll check the transmission fluid. All right, so now that the car's at running temperature, we'll take this transmission stick out and uh, we'll have a look at fluid levels. So there is a reading on there. So we've got just in the, in between the two, you can see that there. My finger there is showing uh, where the full mark is. So we'll go another it's, because it's transmission fluid, it's kind of like leveling out like this. So I'm going to go one more time just to make sure that it is halfway there and we'll put some more fluid in. Okay, so we've got 6.2 litres went back into exactly 6.2 litres. That's including the liquid intelligence. So now I'll check it again after she goes for a drive. Got a couple of things to do still, can't want to go anywhere yet, but when I do go for a drive, I'll recheck it and just top up if I need to. Okay, I really don't want to leave this clip unclosed with not knowing how much I, fluid I added later after going for a drive. So I'm just going for a process right now, putting it through drive. And while, while my foot's on the brake, accelerate at the same time. Let's bring up the 1500 RPM. I'm just doing this a few times in reverse and in drive, just to make sure that the fluid is through the system. And uh, so if I need to add any more, I'll add it right now without having to, without needing to go for that drive to check the fluid afterwards. I'll do this another three or four times, then put it back in neutral and check that dipstick again. So after doing that, she's reading spot on now. Again, you can't really tell because transmission fluid travels. But uh, it's reading spot on when you first take it out now, so that's good. Uh, I'm going to have to leave it there. I can't really... I can't really take it for a drive for the next few days, so we're just going to leave this clip here. If I need to add any more fluid, it's not going to be much. I don't think I'm going to have to add any more at all. I think that's pretty much, that's where it rests. Uh, but what I will do is if I do have to add any more, I'll leave it in the description uh, within, the, within this week. If there's nothing in the description, then I didn't have to change anything. Alright, anyway, thanks for watching guys. Cheers.